Hi there, my name is Rachel Sheffield. Um, I grew up in the South Valley um, in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I work at a, an insurance association. I'm the vice president of member services. I wear many hats. Um, I run the gamut of, you know, doing billing and collecting member dues. And, you know, billing is a big part of everything that we do. You know, we, we run education classes. Um, I, I have to solicit partnerships with uh, carrier insurance companies. Um, so, you know, I'm collecting and invoicing uh, left and right with that. Um, I also help, you know, the insurance association is actually just a resource, you know, for um, insurance agents and uh, we try to help insurance agencies run their business better. Um, you know, if you're wanting to get your insurance license, you would contact me and I would help you find the best study material um, to get your license. Um, then once you already have your license, um, you would come and see me for your continuing education requirements because the state requires so many hours. Um, so I help with that as well. And then a big part of it is marketing. I do a bunch of marketing and really the marketing part is where I went to school and that's what I um, studied was um, doing graphic design and, and whatnot. So I came into this a little sideways. Um, <laughs> and I'd never expected to end up doing what I'm doing uh, with what I was going to school for. I grew up in a really um, poor area of town. Uh, there wasn't a lot of opportunities or resources. Um, I was a teen, pregnant teenage mom. Um, I started out waitressing and, and just doing what I could to get by. Um, also, you know, we ha we had career days and stuff at uh, at my high school, and my best friend, she knew she knew what she wanted to do from day one, and I was so envious of her because I had no idea. Um, I actually got an anxiety attack just thinking about <laughs> what is it that I want to do. I I have no idea, um, but you know, based on my interests and and where a lot of my talents laid. Um, I realized it's in the artistic part of, of things. And, um, and so that's really what I started pursuing. I finally got to a point where I did go to uh, the University of New Mexico and I took some certification courses and, and, um, and I also took some basic computer courses, um, just getting to know like Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel and just so I can navigate a computer um, I went from there to working for America Online, and, and I worked there for years um, as a computer tech, ironically. Uh, I didn't know that much about that, but um, that's where I really learned my computer, I mean, I'm sorry, my customer service skills. And I think that's um, probably the most important thing um, that I can, that I've taken with me throughout um, everything. So. So um, as far as my schooling went, it wasn't that much. It was just mostly geared towards marketing and, and graphic design. I was hired to work at the association from a temp agency. Um, and I was just filling the role of a receptionist. So I literally started you know, at that position and I held that position for about six years. Um, and really, which was the best because starting in at a receptionist position, I was able to learn everybody's stuff. You know, I, <laughs> I really mastered it. Um, and, and that was a really good foundation. Um, I was later promoted to communications director and I held that position for about 13 years. Um, I recently was just promoted to vice president of member services, and I've been doing that on almost a year now. Um, so I'm coming up on my 20 year anniversary <laughs> working here. I mean, who knew? I, I never planned that. Uh, it just, it just all fell into place. I probably didn't 
have your typical high school experience. Um, I went to uh, a high school for pregnant girls, um, so, you know, teenage moms. Uh, so I didn't get a lot of probably what is typical um, out there. Um, however, I have four boys and my youngest one is in high school right now. And, and this is the advice that I give them. Um, as far as extracurricular activities go, it's always important to be involved in something, you know, whether it's music or, you know, maybe not even career focused so much, um, but just developing skills, interacting with people, um, and developing, you know, responsibility and um, having a good work ethic. Um, that is something that you'll take with you wherever you end up. And it affects all aspects of your life. Um, and by good work ethic, I mean being dependable, um, you know, always striving to do your best and having pride in anything that you do, whether it's stuffing an envelope or, you know, I mean, anything, you have to have a sense of pride and that represents you. You can't really imagine where you're going to end up in life. Um, you know, you'll be so surprised if you, if you say, you know, my gosh, I have no, I had no idea that I would end up here. If you would have asked me a year ago where I would be, you know, you have no idea. Even if, even if you think you have it all mapped out. <laughs> Life just doesn't work that way all the time. Um, but I just think, like I said, developing um, good work ethic, um, just taking pride in yourself and, and what it is that you do and always be open to change and always be open to evolving. Um, that is the most important thing.